Well, hi there, Celia here. And today I wanna to talk about uh, John of God and some of the updates. Um, for you guys who do not know, I used to be a uh, official Portuguese speaking tour guide for him. Uh, you know, of course, this is not new to you. If you're listening to this, you know the accusations towards John of God for his sexually abusing women. You know, the problem is, is that uh, John of God didn't just sexually abuse women. Yes, he hasn't been convicted yet. He hasn't uh, had his day at court. But, you know, after 500 women that are coming forth right now uh, saying that, yes, uh, women that don't even know each other uh, saying pretty much the same stories. Not only did he sexually abuse women, uh, sexually abuse his power, but he used his uh, spiritual gift to abuse these women, telling them that this is what they needed to do in order to be healed. Now, these women went there to Brazil because uh, this was probably their last hope for uh, changes in their lives, whether they're physically going through some stuff or emotionally, whatever it is that they, they went to see John and God for, it was probably their last resort. It was not cheap to go down there to visit uh, visit with him. Most of the people had to travel, um, you know, so you know, it was a last resort and he used that power. He used his spiritual powers to, um, to these women who were really super vulnerable. So I can't tell you how disgusted I am through this, all this, because even though all my clients, uh, got very good results down there, because like I said, from the very beginning, it wasn't just all John of God and the spiritual entities that were doing the work. It's our faith. You know, it's our belief that heals us. So John and God had the ability, he had the ability to get that out of us, for us to believe that he was doing some something um, miraculous. And we believe that. And so that's how the healing took place. There was thousands of people there each and every week with that intention of healing. And that's where the power is. I'm not saying that John and God did not have these powers, but it's very hard for me today to believe that entities from the light would use someone, a monster like him, to do this spiritual work. I may be in the beginning, maybe in the beginning he had those powers, but you know, after all that's coming out right now, it's just very hard for me to believe that it is a uh, spirit of the light that we're doing the work there. Um, I don't know enough of the other world to, to say what it was, uh, except the fact that we, we have the power within ourselves to heal. Um, you know, guides, I'm a healer, guides, healers, we're all here to assist. We don't do the healing. We're here to assist, uh, the client to, um, to realize that they, they have that within themselves to do the healing. So, so there's so much has been coming out of this from John of God lately. Um, you know, they just today, uh, now, uh, charged him again. You know, he's been in jail since I can't remember now the 16th, the 9th of December, something like that. Um, so he's been there for about three weeks. Uh, you know, they the first accusation was a sexual abuse today they went presented him once again started our um having him um you know questioned for the five uh arm weapons that they found in his homes um all these weapons none of them were registered to him breaking the law fully <laughs> And one of the weapons, the serial number has been scraped off. So the prosecutors are wondering about that right now. So they're just press charges against him towards for that right now. John of God is not coming out anytime soon, no matter how corrupt that country is when it comes to money to pay off. Um, you know, I'm from Brazil. I know all about my country there. Um, He's going to be there for a while. I don't think he's going to get out of this one very, uh, very soon. I think maybe even more dirt is going to come out. There's other stuff out there on the internet right now talking about John of God. Um, I don't want to talk about that. It's so dark. It's so dark. Um, and there really is no proof right now. It's just talk. Uh, but it is so, so dark that if this is true, um, we really do have a monster in our hands. So until that comes out into the open, until the um, investigation uh, starts announcing about these investigations that they're doing, um, it's not my place to say. But they are also concerned about stones. <laughs> you know, John of God sells, you know, his stones. And so now the, the prosecutor is looking into, you know, were these stones uh, that he was selling real stones or was he uh, uh, selling them off as real and they were just fake stones. A lot of jewelry. A lot of people have bought John of God's jewelries. Um, there's a lot of people that work under him um, that sell his stuff. Um, 
you know, I don't know where this is all going to go. All I know is that if there's a darkness to all this and it has to come up to the light. And so if you have any comments, uh, you know, let's try to keep this, you know, let everybody have their opinions. If, you know, if you're, if you're for them, that's, that's fine. Um, just don't bury your head too much under the, under the sand. Look at what's going on. Yes, we need to give the, him the right to his day in court, but there is a lot of evidence right now. There's a lot of people showing up. Um, yes, and a lot of those people are out to be famous. A lot of those people are out to make some money maybe, but 500, more than 500 women right now, they can't all be lying. Let's get our heads out of the sand and let's get real. Um, this was a man that abused his power and abused um, his spiritual gifts. So, uh, I'll keep you dated. I'll keep you updated as soon as I hear some more, um, updates of what is going on with our, um, John of God right now. I think we need to change that name somehow. Okay. Thank you so much. Peace and blessings. We'll see you next time.